Henry Cambridge Studs just made their mark as uh, buyers here at, uh, in Sydney. Just tell us a little bit about what you've bought. Uh, well, we had, a, we had a pretty flat day yesterday, Aidan. Um, we had a go on about three or four, and we didn't even get a bid in. So today um, we bought a nice Medaglia Dora uh, filly out of a Group 1 winner in Steps in Time, and it's the first of a joint venture between Cambridge Stud and Sheikh Fahd, who obviously owns Roaring Lion, and it's a sort of a, a bit of a good faith thing. We love the filly, and David Redvers was here, to, to, he picked her out, and um, so it's hope, hope it's the start of a successful relationship. Where will the, uh, the filly end up? I think she'll probably go to Tony McAvoy. Um, obviously, Sheikh Fahd's got a relationship with Tony McAvoy through Sunlight, which they own a part of, uh, Zoo Star Philly, and um, I think she'll probably end up going there. What did you have to pay to, 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 to secure? Four sixty. Yeah. And uh, what was the budget? I couldn't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, also, we've, we've seen the Tavistocks go through the ring, and they seem to be footing up pretty well in what's been a really strong market here. Look, he's he's a pretty genuine Group 1 stallion, Tavistock, he's, and he's also an international stallion. Most of his track record is here in Australia or in Hong Kong. So, obviously, they're going to keep chasing them. I think the best is yet to come from him. I think the filly here... Uh, out of Elegant Eagle is probably going to be his sale topper. She's a beautiful filly. Okay, and uh, Cambridge Stud, we don't see you with a draft here uh, this year, but is that something you'll consider in the future? In the future, there's no doubt that we will consider it. I think it's very much a case that we want to throw our lot in with New Zealand at the moment. It's a show of support for the industry there. And once, uh, once we've got that traction, I think we will start looking, particularly first crop Almanzor, first crop Roaring Lion, You've got to spread them around a bit, and this is a strong market. Okay, just uh, before we let you go away from the, the from the, uh, the sales, uh, Probabil, the run very good on Saturday in the size. What's the thoughts on the champagne? Uh, can you give us a, any inside word? I think it might be a bridge too far for her. She's been here a long time now. Uh, she's only a baby. It's frustrating that we probably missed a Group 1 placing on Saturday, but the track was porridge. Um, it wasn't a soft seven. But, you know, it's no point in blaming that. I mean, look, she's in training, she's remained in training. She's going to have a gallop on Saturday morning with Jamie here, and then we'll make a decision after that.